President Biden was caught on camera apparently getting some bad news or some information on the world's oil supply, with gas prices, of course, close to an all-time high. Watch this, because French President Emmanuel Macron kind of pulls him aside as they're walking here in Spain and tells him about a conversation that he had with the leader of the UAE, and the leader is known as MBZ, and then a White House advisor kind of pulls them aside and says, you know, we, we should get away from the cameras. Watch this. determined to get some time with the president there. Some of that was inaudible, as you can see. Uh, General Zach Keane is watching this along with us, but first, of course, Bonnet Jackie Heinrich traveling with the president, and she joins us from Madrid. Hi, Jackie. Thank you for watching my upload well, Hey there, Martha. Thanks, yeah, Patriots. really something else. According to the French president, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please don't. The UAE, two top oil producers and all the new subscribers, thank you. Up their oil production, uh, with the UAE already at max capacity, and Saudi Arabia, according to Macron, at least, uh, only able to We're up talking about Joe Biden, by Biden, barrels a day, and what he said about the, next six months or so. the oil prices. Uh, the UAE's top energy official confirmed as much in a statement that happened just one day prior to this conversation. They said that they're producing at ceiling levels and they'll continue to do so through the end of the pact. But whether or not President Biden was already aware of this ahead of his trip to Saudi Arabia next month is pretty unclear. The plan was to push Arab nations to produce more oil to bring down record gas prices. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan noticed those cameras nearby and ushered the president out of the way and then refused to get into details in a press gaggle on Air Force One afterward. He spoke with President Macron about the trip. Everything with Joe Biden is a big a secret. About the trip as well. Not because he's a screw up. Focused on or confined to the energy piece, but the broader strategic dynamic of the I'm not going to characterize President Macron's comments or, you know, either the content of them or the uh, this particular notion about Saudi Arabia and its uh, spare capacity. Saudi Arabia and the UAE are perceived as the only two countries in the OPEC Plus group which might have some spare capacity, according to Reuters, meaning that this news could take the wind out of President Biden's sails on his upcoming trip. This weekend, President Biden invoked leaders of other G7 countries to impose a price cap on Russian oil experts, uh, exports, rather, which is a highly complex effort that would require a lot of voluntary coordination among countries. Jake Sullivan said today, uh, as of today, talks have begun with India, a major buyer of Russian oil, about the implications of a price cap and what that would involve. Yeah, let's uh, get them so involved. We don't have enough this oil. This is all just discussion. Nothing has materialized yet. Martha? Jackie, thank you very much. Jackie Hunter traveling with the president. Let's bring in Fox News. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you later. Former Vice Chief of Staff.